the Sports Vote Campaign Podcast. Invest in sports. Hello and welcome back. Today is Sunday, May 1st, 2022, and this is It All Began in the 70s, Season 3, Episode 22, A Boy Scout No More. I grew up in a culture where the scouting system, which starts in Cub Scouts, goes through um, what they call Weeblos, then to Boy Scouts, and then to what's called, I believe it's called the Explorers, and then usually ROTC in the military. So I may be the most naive person in the world, but I didn't figure out until I was after Scouts that this was really all uh, a military type training you know process that starts when you're very young that being said you know um living in the south i i did enjoy the time that i was in there i enjoyed the structure and the working for these different awards and all of that sort of thing it it it, it did um appeal to me for a long period of time it taught you um that the system which when I refer to that, I'm referring to the government system is to be respected. And not that I've completely lost that. I haven't. I'm certainly not as patriotic as I used to be. But it teaches you, you know, to respect rules and authority and all that. And that, uh, and I think that's, for the most part, that's really good. Um, I think that's better than the other, which is total disrespect. However, in the last... I would say the last 20 years, maybe 25 years, I've seen the operation of the people that are entrusted with these institutions, um, I've seen them fail that trust over and over. And maybe it's always been that way, and I just woke up to it recently, but maybe it took my having to deal with it personally to see it. You know, as long as I've been able to think. I've certainly heard the stories about people being thrown in jail, protesting that they had been falsely imprisoned and all that. I never really gave it a lot of thought. But my experience in the civil justice system, not the criminal system, I don't have any history with that, but the civil side of it, it has become apparent to me that, as Ace once said, it's the most complex an expensive bribery system in the history of the world. What do I mean by that? Well, it comes down to this. They tell you that you have equal rights under the law, but when it comes to practice, that's just not what happens. <laughs> it's uh, just not what happens. Um, if you're not able to go out and hire um, big-name law firms to do your bidding for you, whatever that is, whether it's prosecuting a case or defending a case, um, you're, you're probably going to lose. Um, you know, I had heard things like that said along the path of my life, but really never thought about it because I really, frankly, had never been subjected to it, so I didn't really give it much thought. But I'm here to tell you that that is the case and that, unfortunately, facts be damned, it looks like a boys' club where they all protect each other. And, um, you know, it should be pretty simple in my case with the... Uh, the Leon travesty that started more than 10 years ago, that if you don't allow the other side to answer the complaint, um, that should be rectified. <laughs> you know, basic jurisprudence is uh, hear both, both sides, and this is in the Bible, clearly. Hear both sides before you decide the matter. Well, that never happened with me, and I was shut down. Um and trying to get that undone is uh, is an unbelievably difficult thing when it shouldn't be. Uh, it's rooted in the Constitution that uh, you have the right to a fair trial. That never happened. Um, and nobody seems to care. And I'm guessing that maybe uh, if I was to spend thousands or tens of thousands, who knows how much money, um, hiring the right letterhead, you know, it, it seems to come not even come down to the argumentation. It just whatever's name appears at the top and bottom of the the documents, then 
then maybe it w- something would come of it. But just based on facts, and not even complex facts, just simple facts like, uh, you know, Constitution says that you hear both sides. <laughs> Bible says you hear both sides before you decide the matter. Even that's too far, too much to ask, at least if you're trying to do it yourself. So uh, in concert with my um, final decisions about a few things, such as I will never vote again, um, I believe that the system is so completely corrupted at this point that it um, it makes I, I can't participate in the pig pen. I um, I can't pretend like it's okay when it's not okay. Um, as far as dealing with the legal system, um, Fifth Amendment provides me the ability to not speak on any matter, whether it's administrative, civil, or criminal. So, from uh, from last week, whenever I posted that a couple days ago, uh, perpetually forward, I will never again volunteer any, anything to any um, government agency or any court. Um, you'll have to haul me in handcuffs, and then I still may not say anything. Uh, I'm so profoundly disappointed. It's taken me a very long time to get here. Um, I'm so profoundly disappointed in how things operate in practice versus the theory I mean, it couldn't be further from the theory. It, it couldn't be um, more opposite theory to reality. And that's really a shame. And and frankly, it saddens me to come to this conclusion and make this decision um, because I was a Boy Scout. Very young. I, I was a couple credits away from um, Eagle Scout, I think when I was like 13 or something. I was really young. And I actually qualified for f- uh, my Scoutmaster wanted to put me up for Eagle Scout, but, and he said the requirements that I was missing um, were not really there uh, for some reason, but I didn't see it that way. I read the rules and I didn't think I, I qualified, so I actually waved off the Eagle Scout. Um, I made it to the one right before that, which I think is life, and, um, you know, back then I didn't understand incentives and all that. I didn't understand the scout master, you know, got a feather in his cap for having an Eagle Scout and his troop and all that. So I didn't get all that. I just, according to my reading of the rules, I didn't qualify for Eagle Scout. My mom actually reminded me of this not too long ago. Um, and I, I said, no, you can't put me in for that because I didn't fulfill all the rules. Even though he would have done it and I would have got the Eagle Scout badge, which was a huge thing when you're a scout. So... Um, but according, you know, I just, I didn't believe I earned it. So I wasn't going to allow them to give it to me. So that's how far back. And actually I started to get interested in dating and such. And that really, I, hanging out with a bunch of guys, um, was it really wasn't my thing anymore. So, um, I didn't really want to do that. So anyhow, um, yeah, so I'm very, very, um, saddened by this and, uh, you know, it's taken me more than a decade to come to this conclusion but um, I will not vote. I have rescinded my party uh, registration, and my part, my voter registration has been canceled voluntarily. Um, I'm done, and um, you know, I'm not. You're not going. Nobody's going to push me around anymore. I'm not, not going to be bullied anymore by lawyers. I'm done. Um, if you um, don't have an arrest warrant, okay, valid arrest warrant, and I'll want to see that. And by and I'm sure somebody's going to try to snip this out. I have no charges against me from anywhere. I'm just saying, in the future, if I'm ever challenged, it's going to have to be a criminal arrest warrant, and I'm going to have to see it before anything happens. And be careful, because I'm a lawfully armed citizen. So, no more games, okay? When I change sides, I change sides hard. I don't play games. I don't. I don't straddle the fence. I'm. When it goes from one color to another color, or however you want to call this, it's it's a hard switch, like uh, throwing the AC switch for a, a mainline um, distribution system for power in a subdivision, okay? You're going to hear that noise, you know, 10 miles from where that switch is thrown. Um, I don't believe them anymore. I don't trust them anymore. They've uh, – all of my goodwill has been kicked back in my face, Um Forgotten, abused, um, distorted, uh, lied about, uh, victimized, and just generally treated like crap by a system that, frankly, I, I had a lot of regard for um, 
for the better part of my life. But at this point, I'm going to treat it at a, as a hostile party. Um, and it will be dealt with accordingly, which means leave me alone. Okay, I'm warning you. Leave me alone or else. And if you produce a criminal arrest warrant, again, I don't even have – I have no criminal anything in my background. I'm just saying that that – because the Fifth Amendment allows me to say, get lost, okay, on anything except being put in handcuffs, then that's exactly the way I'm going to play it from now on. And God help you if you show up with something else because you just might get shot, okay? I really had my fill of it. Um, it's, it's, it's a lie. The whole system is just a big lie, at this point, and I don't know, maybe it always was, and I'm just the last one to figure it out, but I'm not going to operate the remaining of my days uh, um, subject to a system that doesn't have any respect for real for rights. I, I, apparently, I don't have any rights unless I go pay an uh, expensive lawyer to do my bidding for me. That's ridiculous. That's bribery, okay? That's extortion. That's bribery, and I'm not going to play. I'm not going to play that game. I refuse. I, I just turn my back on it. I can take care of myself without the system. The system doesn't have anything I need. I'm perfectly capable of taking care of myself without it. So um, that's how the game's going to be played for me from this point forward. And um, I'm sure Alper has a completely different view, and he's going to be the one taking over ASM. But as far as my life goes, I wipe my hands of it, of, of the system. It's uh, Frankly, it needs to be burned to the ground and start over. Uh, it's, I think it's the incentives are so so far skewed in the wrong directions. There's no way to save it from here, so it just needs to be replaced. Um, so that's it for today. Thank you for your uh, time and attention, and I will uh, be with you again on this series in two weeks. Bye now.